Hello my creative critters and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. I'm Sarah and today's video is another episode of my 500 drawing prompt series. And for this episode we are combining the prompts Alien and Tropical Cocktail and I'm just gonna get right into it. One of the rules I set for myself for this prompt book is to include an animal in some way for each of the drawings. Not gonna lie when I was thinking about what to draw to combine these two prompts I was like should I draw a rooster on a beach drinking a margarita or something because another word for rooster is cock and roosters have tails kind of so I thought it would be cute to have a rooster in a tropical setting maybe reclined on a beach chair clinking martini glasses with an alien friend but I got kind of stuck on the alien part I really tried to not draw super cliche things so an alien with that big egg head and giant eyes was kind of boring to me so I didn't really want to do that I guess I could have designed my own alien but there are enough bizarre animals out there that I thought maybe I could come up with something a little bit more real but also alien like so because I was a little stuck it did take me a bit to get back to this prompt or prompt combo I should say and I got kind of uninterested and that's why I've been doing those trying art supplies for the first time type videos and then I came up with my Animalphabet series to re-inspire myself and get hyped again to create content but recently I was watching the Animal Planet as I do often and there was a clip of some lady recording this bird called a Hotu bird, Patu bird, let me look it up real quick. Okay, I'm back and there's several different pronunciations. Everyone I click on is a little different. I've heard Potu Bird, Potu Bird, or Potu Bird. So however you want to say it, I'm sure it's fine. It's spelled P-O-T-O-O -O if you want to look it up. But anyway, now that I think about it, I think the original clip that I saw this bird in was from America's Funniest Home Videos Animal Edition that plays on Friday nights where I am. And this lady made a home video clip of this terrifying monster, owl, lizard, demon thing. And I'll pop an image up here on the screen so you can see because how can you look at this thing and not see an alien? It's just so creepy and scary and it makes a god-awful sound and when it opens its mouth it's it's just alien. I think the creepiest part about it is its bulging pitch black eyes in some of the photos I saw of it and and how unsettlingly wide it can open its mouth. It's like if a snake and an owl and a demon birth like an offspring somehow. I just can't get over how weird it is. These potus are found in every Central and South American country and they also occur in three Caribbean islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola, and Tobago. So little old me here in the US has never encountered these in real life so maybe that's why they're just so alien to me and off-putting but I'm sure if you live in these areas you've seen one or two or maybe more desensitized to it than I am but I mean look at this guy look at him no thank you so toward the beginning of the sketch it kind of reminded me of a Sesame Street character with his big eyeballs and the puppet mouth as wide as it can go like how Cookie Monster or Grover or even Elmo and how they look geez can you imagine a Potu bird as a puppet absolutely not no thank you <laughs> so to incorporate the tropical cocktail prompt I just had this dude cheersing or something with a tropical cocktail. It's got a nice orange wedge on the rim with a classic little toothpick umbrella because you can't have a tropical cocktail in my opinion without one of those little umbrellas. Anyway, birds can't really hold things with their wings like they can with their claws and I know that but I thought it would be interesting to have like creepy long Grinch who stole Christmas inspired fingers just to reel it in and make everything even more off-putting. I still don't think the way that I positioned the feathers or fingers if you will is really that believable in how I drew them as a quote-unquote hand holding the drink. At the same time I was just having fun creating this cursed art and I couldn't be bothered with the specifics and I think this is a a good reminder that not every piece of art that you create has to make sense or even look good and I was just having fun. After I was happy with the sketch I went in with the same ink brush tip pen that I use a lot which by the way any supplies I use in any of my videos are linked in the description if you want to get your hands on your own and try them out yourself. At the moment these aren't affiliate links because Amazon keeps closing my account for not reaching the minimum sales so I think I'm gonna wait off a while before resubmitting to get back into the program and get a new code and all that but regardless if I get a commission on sales or not. I always have the supplies I use in any of my videos linked below because it's really important to me to have that available if you are curious and get inspired enough to try out any of the supplies I used, especially for that embroidery and scratchboard art for the first time videos that I did. I know after watching some scratchboard and embroidery videos, I wish I had a nice little kit link to go to so I can get everything I needed, so I try to include as many links as I can. I know for me personally, when I see people like Casey Golden using wacky art 
makeup supplies. I find myself wanting to try them too. And half the time I watch her videos, I'm like, where the heck does she get this stuff? I love it. And I'll link her channel below too, because if you're watching my content and not hers, that's illegal. So please go subscribe to Casey Golden because she's also the one who inspired this whole entire 500 drawing prompt series that I'm doing here with this exact prompt book. So you should definitely see what she creates with these prompts as well. Anyway, as I was saying, I just know that I'm lazy. And if there's a cool art supply that isn't linked easily, I usually can't be bothered to look it up since most of the time the interest just isn't strong enough anyway. Also, I love when you guys say you get inspired by my videos and I'm not about to stifle that inspo in any way. So long story short, I always have materials that I use in the videos in the description. Back to the drawing, I was able to whip up this entire drawing within the duration of Chris Clemens on Hinge podcast, which was about an hour. And I think the one I watched was episode four and it was just so funny looking through the real time raw footage of this drawing. And in the background, you could hear Chris and Luke just being chaotic and iconic and I just loved it. Also, if you're not following or subscribed to Chris Clemens, you gotta be. And if you're lazy like me, I'll even link to his stuff in the description. And you can thank me later. So at this point in the drawing, I was trying to get the mouth to look how it does in the reference I used. And they have such a weird like pointed beaks, but also curved like in the throat area. And I don't really know how to explain it, but I feel like the more lines I added to contour the shape, the more that comes across. And not gonna lie, as I got to the feathery body, I kind of just winged it all. Heh, <laughs> winged, cause he's a bird and birds have wings. I guess I just truly scribbled a ton and then scribbled some more. And I think this sketch is a good combo of disheveled and chaotic and scribbly. Overall, I'm all right with how this drawing turned out. And at the end of the day, I use these prompts to stretch my creativity more than anything to see how far I can push cliche ideas out of my art rather than creating a beautiful illustration every time. And after I relieve that pressure off of myself, I find I'm able to draw absolutely cursed art just like this one. If I were to caption this, it would be like the one uncle who doesn't have volume control after a few drinks in or, or that feeling when you're in between drinks and someone hands you another one because your social anxiety just started amping up. I don't know, I'm not very good at captions, but I wanna hear what you would title this drawing or what you would caption it in the comments below because I know you guys are creative too and I think it would be fun. Or just simply say hi and chat with me about art or something down there because it really helps my engagement for this video. So YouTube pushes this video for maybe more people to see. Any little like or comment really helps a lot. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to leave that like and subscribe for more art and animal related content. I upload a new video here every Friday and I would love to have you become a creative critter with me and follow along on my YouTube journey. Also, can we just talk about how I recently, I think like as of yesterday, reached 200 of you beautiful subscribers. I'm so excited because my goal for 2021 is to reach 500 subscribers. The fact that we're already at 200 is just crazy to me and I can't thank you guys enough for all the support and all of your kind comments that you've been giving me over the past year or so that I've been creating content on here. And it just makes me really happy when you guys have some nice things to say about my art and how excited I get about animals. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative and I'll see you in next Friday's video. Rather than creating a blue, beautiful Sarah, beautiful.